Melissa Bates. A scalpel and a mad boar is all Melissa Bates needs to create her works. Her representation of reality spontaneously cuts and peels the surface of a cardboard based on the figure of a live model posing nude. Her art is instinctive, defiant, transgressive. Every Monday from 9 to 12 in the morning she voluntarily coordinates live drawing events at the Royal Queensland Art Society located in Bro Beach, neighborhood of the Gold Coast City. Bates and other 20 artists create in the space an eclectic atmosphere, calm like a sophisticated movie scene set by a cello and a piano. In 2016 she also started sessions at the Gold Coast Arts Centre where local artists produced portraits of a model in an hour while the public watched with great interest. <laughs> 7 and she can be found in the Gold Coast Markets where she creates portraits for curious customers attracted by her unconventional technique. Bates says that her clients are those who are not afraid of seeing their image revealed on a black cardboard. Four minutes and 40 seconds in this 10 minute pose. Her work, figurative and contemporary, has been recognized for various awards and in numerous exhibitions. For example, the Helen Davis Memorial Awards at the Royal Art Exhibition, the Portia Gitch Memorial Exhibition in Sydney, and the first prize on the Gold Coast 30 Icons Exhibition. Currently, Melissa works in the markets of Bro Beach, Kulangata, Marina Mirage, Burley Heads, Emerald Lakes and Griffith University Markets. She wakes up before sunrise and leaves her house wearing a beret or a hat. She uses colorful glasses but her favorite boots are the black. Recently she got a trolley made by Ron McRae, one of her many artistic fellas. Now it is easier for her to move all around the coast city with a couple of chairs, a big folder, the scalpel and, for sure, some spare blades. Cutout art is a technique that resulted from her experience as a stencil cutter for a business in Sydney, a job she found when she was 14 years old. She also modeled since she was 15, but stopped about 20 years ago. A complete narration about the experience of life drawing that she and the model share, both so focused, she on cutting and the model on the pose, have is submerged in the ocean of their thoughts. By finishing an artwork without drawing guidelines, but cutting without rehearsal, Melissa challenges Kundera phrase in his novel, Unbearable Lightness of Being, which says that if a man can only live one life, it is as he did not live at all. Her white series of work in black and white, a few others in color, narrate the death and rebirth of the models. In less than three hours, Melissa Scalpel heals the wood of the model that she previously opened. Those are stories that each viewer is free to face and decipher through the form of her art. Then, for each spectator, a different interpretation, a new story, life gains value. What can life be worth? if the first rehearsal for life is life itself?
That is why life is always like a sketch. No, sketch is not quite a word, because a sketch is an outline of something, the groundwork for a picture, whereas the sketch that is our life is a sketch for nothing, an outline with no picture. Te prête la place où tes pieds passent Caché dans les trous d'un temps divin Et quand tu es seul 